my name's Vicky. I'm an on-call firefighter for Cheshire and I'm based at Birchwood Fire Station. Um, I've been with Cheshire now since January and I've been operationally firefighting since April, end of April. Um, I first seen the job advertised in July, August last year. Somebody had shared something on Facebook and I decided to get a bit of information about it. Um, more out of curiosity, I think, rather than thinking that's something that I can do. Um, I think like most people, well, me, I know my friends and, and family kind of think along the same lines that it's more a man's job, not really something that a woman can do. Um, how wrong could I be? Um, I got the information and I decided to apply anyway, even though I wasn't very confident. Um, managed to get through, pass the written assessments, practicals I was a little bit sort of nervous about. Um, I'm I'm fit, but I'm I'm not mega fit. I'm not exceptionally strong or anything like that. Um, I did train a little bit for the practicals, um, and then kind of I suppose just went in with an open mind. Like I said, I didn't wasn't confident. Didn't think I was going to get it, but I did passed. Um, formal interview, medical, DBS checks, started in the January initial courses and absolutely loved every second since. Um, I love my job, I love every aspect of it, I can't, I can't even put into words, I, I, there's, no, there's no way that I can express enough what an amazing job this is, it really is. Um, if it's something that you are interested in or you think that you could do, go for it. Um, have confidence in yourself because you don't know where it's going to take you. Um, if you are um, getting ready to apply, whether it's for the whole time or the on-call, um, try and get to some taster sessions if you can. Um, we have like a pod that goes to different stations. So if you go onto Cheshire Fire uh, website, it'll give you dates where the taste sessions are being held. It'll give you a chance to have a go at the practicals. Um, not, I wouldn't say to put, put you off or to think, oh, there's no way I could do that. It gives you the opportunity to think, mm, there's a couple of little bits that I've struggled on. So that's what I'm gonna go away and work on whilst my application's going through and if you get to that stage you're ready um, and that's basically the purpose of, of this video um, been asked just to put together a few um, videos on how you can replicate things at home not only to help you through your practical assessments obviously that initially it will um, but also then once you're actually operational or once you're going through your training there's things that you can be working on so that you are that you you are stronger. Um, I mean, there's there's, you know, your upper body strength is a, is a is a big big part of it. Um, so things like press ups, um, tricep dips, so on your stairs, arms back, anything like that that's going to help pull ups. It doesn't matter if you can't do them at the minute. Um, there's ways and means that you can ease yourself into it gently and you gradually build up your strength and it's amazing how quick that can happen. Um, I'm not a personal trainer, I'm not the fittest person in the world. I enjoy fitness, I enjoy training, I enjoy lifting weights, um, not a mega fan of cardio but you do need to, you do need to be able to, um, to have sort of like a, an aerobic side as well. Um, me personally I tend to look at or follow people um, on Facebook and Instagram so um, Emily Sky, she's, she's great um, I watch videos of her take aspects of her workouts that I know that will help me in my job and doing what I'm doing uh, Joe Wicks he's another one as well um, you know you'll, you'll find people who um, you can take bits from and that, that you want to follow and you know um but anyway so what i'm going to do is i am going to film some of the practical assessments 
and then I'm going to show you how you can replicate some of those at home so that you can train at home. You don't need a gym, you don't need any fancy equipment, um, tins of beans, <laughs> rucksack, stuff like that, that'll do. Um, things that you can do if you've, you've got kids, once the kids are in bed you can go outside, set yourself up a little circuit, um, just ideas basically, things that you might have never even thought of before. Um, so if you've got any questions about any of the stuff that I've done um, or if you want to know anything to do with my experience, if you just want information in general, I'll answer as many questions as I can. If you don't know the answer, I'll either find out for you or I'll point you in the right direction. Um, hope you enjoy the videos.